Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is one of those frustrating days when I'm sitting here and I'm hooking up audio and I just can't get it right. And I'm extremely frustrated and I'm making this video because I fell into a very typical fallacy that I've warned people about before and I just, I just keep falling into the same hole. And that is you automatically want to trust that a brand new part is functional. You, you just, it's human nature. We want to believe that this thing we just bought is going to function. Now you can see, I've got my Amazon bag right there. Now this is a 3.5 millimeter stereo to a 3.5 millimeter mono. And my goal is here at my PC, I want to hook up a center channel in order to hook up a center channel, I don't know why computers do this, but they separate out subwoofer and center channel into a stereo 3.5 millimeter. So you have to separate them into mono so that your subwoofer has a channel, which is this one. And then your center channel has to have a, 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 its own channel. And it, it's extremely frustrating because I have been here for an hour, <laughs> for an hour easily sitting here wondering why doesn't this work? I, I plug it in, my channel, which is the red, seems to function for the subwoofer, you could hear it, but these here are eight ohm speakers. I should, albeit quiet, I should still be able to hear if there's some sort of output. And I'm getting extremely frustrated and I was like, you know something, Amazon sold this as a two pack. Let's just hook up the second one and see if it starts working. So I connected it up connected my subwoofer back to the known working port. Then I held the speaker up to my head and I'll be darned. I can hear the center channel. Do you know how frustrating that is? That the fact that it works, it's extremely frustrating because Amazon bit me again. Now I'll probably test this cable later with a multimeter just to be sure. And there were only like five or six dollars, let's say even $10 for a two pack. That's still very reasonable considering the amount of time it would take me to drive someplace to go and find this cable, which is going to be extremely rare. I was able to get it next day through Amazon, so I'm not complaining, although a 50% failure rate at the moment seems to be exceptionally high. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you, I also fall into this fallacy. You get a brand new part, you install it in the machine, and you start troubleshooting everything else in the world because you believe that that part has to be working. It's brand new, right? Guys, I can't tell you how many times in my career I've been burned by the same fallacy. It's a defective part and it definitely happens. And it happens more so in today's day and age where everybody's trying to get the lowest price on the part. So guys, that's my tip for today. Don't fall into the fallacy. If you install a brand new part in a machine and you continue to have the same symptoms, maybe it's the part. Thanks for watching, guys.